everybody, this is Pablo with Mattress Makers. And I'm Gabe. And in this episode of Mattressology, we're gonna talk about should you buy a mattress online? So let's go. So if you've done any mattress shopping in the last 10 years, you cannot miss the fact there are hundreds of mattress companies online. You know, it's totally changed the way, you know, the, the whole mattress shopping experience. Some for the good, some for the bad. And obviously we're gonna have some pretty big opinions on this because we're in the mattress business. Question I always get, you know, from either friends or people that, you know, who've known me, um, that they know that I'm in the business. Like, what do you think about so-and-so mattress online? What do you think about this one? Should I buy this mattress online? You know, sometimes yes, sometimes no. We're gonna talk about there's reasons why you should, there's reason why you shouldn't. But Gabe, tell me, first of all, why shouldn't you buy a mattress online? Yeah, the big, most obvious reason why you shouldn't buy a mattress online is because you have no idea how it's gonna feel. Right. That's the biggest reason. I mean, is it too firm, too soft? That person in the video that was saying it's the best mattress they've ever slept on, well, it might not be the best one for you, so you don't, you have no idea if it's gonna be comfortable or not for you. You gotta realize this, like, you're buying a new mattress because you have a problem. You're either not comfortable, you're not sleeping well, you're waking up with a bad back. Mm -hmm. So you're trying to solve a problem on something that's very important that you're gonna spend eight hours of that day. So out of 24 hours, eight of those hours are gonna be spent on your mattress. That's that one third affects that other two thirds. So it's a very important decision, very important purchase that you're gonna make. You know, and plus you plan on keeping this for several years too. Yeah. So is it smart? on just putting it up to risk something that you've never really felt or experienced and you're doing it just because the marketing was like clever and mm -hmm. was very you know cool you know is, is that the best decision buying that mattress online and no you you have not felt it you have to really you don't know how it's going to feel like a, it might say firm it might say soft it might say medium but there's no industry standard when it comes to firmness right we know it in our stores we have firm medium and soft but there's not an industry standard you know two mediums or two firms can feel totally different what might be for, firm sure. for one person is not going to feel firm for the next person mm -hmm. so it is like throwing darts with your eyes closed it's a big risk sometimes you're going to hit it a lot of the times you're going to miss so that is the probably the biggest reason why i would say no do not buy it online. Yeah. So what is another, another reason why I would not buy a mattress online? Yeah. And another reason why is, so usually they're vacuum sealing this big in a box, right? And to do that, you're usually using foams and a lot of times lesser quality materials. So usually cheaper, you know, cheaper components are in the mattress when it's uh, online. Yep. When it's vacuum sealed like that. Yep. So yeah. that would be another reason why. Yeah, you got to remember, like, they're trying to, I mean, these companies are trying to be as efficient and mm -hmm. as profitable as possible. And you want to fit this, this mattress in a box at a certain size and a certain weight. Yeah. So to get that, you're going to have to compress it in a way. And you have to use components that are easier to compress mm -hmm. and that are light enough to be able to ship it, to save on shipping costs. So with that, you have to sacrifice somewhere. You have mm -hmm. to shave off corners, you know, and usually there you, it's gonna come in the components. And that's actually the obvious reason, the first thing, like how can we make this mattress easier to ship and cheaper to ship? So you're gonna use lower density foams and you're, you're just, the layering is gonna be, you know, you're gonna use stuff that really is just, doesn't make the most sense, but it makes sense on, on, on the weight of it all. Yeah. You know, so you're gonna use cheaper components Usually, a lot of usually, the times, yeah. usually, are gonna be online mattress or bed in the boxes are gonna usually use cheaper components. And we ship online though. I mean, it makes it. Yeah, some people might do. think, hey, is that being hypocritical? You guys ship it online, but are we you know, things a bit different though, right? Yes. So and yeah, we do. So we get people that ask us a lot. You know, with these videos that people find us online, they want us to ship. And obviously, my first recommendation is find your local guy. Yeah. Find your local guy who not a big huge boxer but a, your local guy that and where you're going to deal with the owner or someone close to the ownership because they're gonna have a more vested interest first start there you know if they're in your area and but if you can't find someone in your area yeah, then yeah you know give us a call we're, we're okay with that but we do ship online but because we use latex because the coils that we use are a bit heavier duty mm -hmm. we cannot fit the vast majority of the mattress that we have cannot fit in a box we have to use two boxes or three mm -hmm. boxes and it doesn't make a lot of sense for us. I mean, it does, our shipping costs, they're expensive. Yeah. You know, so, you know, a lot of, a lot of companies can compress their mattress in a box to make it cheaper. We, we're makes eating you, a lot of the time. It makes you wonder how are these companies like profitable, giving free shipping? And I'm like, man, that's a 
big, that's a big chunk. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So rather than, you know, sh shaving corners on, on our components, our material and our mattress, we have to ship in two boxes or three boxes, you yeah. know, which, yeah, I mean, a lot of times we eat, it's not, it, we, we lose money on, Yeah. but you know, we do, you know, we do ship because people ask for it, you know? Yeah. So yeah. So no, we're not hypocrites in that. Yeah. yeah. So what is the third reason why you should, you should not, you should avoid an online company? Yeah. Another one is going to be all the waste that it creates from people sending mattresses back. I mean, everyone talks about like, you know, lowering your carbon footprint or, you know, recycling the bed mattresses or just, yep. re, just be, you know, be mindful of the environment, but all the waste it creates it actually in the environment to, uh, you know, when you're returning a mattress, yeah, man, you I got have the glues, yeah. right. That are being used like the, the foams. And it's like, man, all this, a lot of that times that is going to waste. Yeah. We know a guy, he's actually a friend of our dad who, who handles the factory and he has a contract with a, with a very popular online brand that he gets, he picks up all of their mattresses, at least in Southern California area, in the LA, Inland Empire, you know, maybe some in San Diego, I'm not sure how much in San Diego, and he, he resells them. So, but there's a truck stacks and stacks of mattresses, a truckload of mattresses, he cannot warehouse anymore. He's trying to see if we, if we can sell them for him or mm -hmm. find a way to get, to, to get rid of them for him because yeah, there's just so much that he's trying to sell. He's either selling them on offer up, Sell them mm -hmm. on Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist, if anybody still uses Craigslist, you know, but yeah, he's still, that's where you're going to see a lot of these online companies. Now, if you go to OfferUp, you go to these, you know, secondhand sites, you know, you're going to find a lot of them now because yeah, that's how they get rid of them. But yeah, there's stacks and stacks, you know, and back in the day, a big, a, a popular way to do it was, you know, you could donate them to a nonprofit, but even the nonprofits now, they're not accepted. Anymore. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's really hard to get a nonprofit to pick them up and go through all of that process. So there's just a lot of waste, you know? Yeah. We're trying to be more, as sustainable as we possibly can, you know? Most of us are trying to, you know, be sustainable, you know, take care of this planet. But there's just a lot of waste with, with these mattresses that are getting returned. I've had yeah. people who've had, who bought on their fifth, their fifth online mattress. You know, they, they've purchased at least three, four, five different online mattresses that they just returned, you know, pretty quick. And, you know, cause they couldn't get it right. And you just see so much waste in them. Oh yeah. So that's a big reason why I would stay away. Oh, for sure. From, from buying online. Okay. So now the fourth reason I would say, what would be the, uh, yeah, the other, the other one, the fourth one is going to be the inconsistency in the feel of the yes. mattress, right? Because a lot of times you got, you know, there's that one mattress company, but they have multiple manufacturers, you know, like they could be one in, you know, Vietnam, one in the, UAE one, you know, it's like they're spread out different parts, even in, in the country, right? In, in the United States that they're using different uh, manufacturers in the US just because it makes it easier for them to ship it yep. places or cheaper to ship it places. So that's another reason why there's inconsistency. Yeah. And the reason you why know? we know this, because when we get a lot of these mattresses back, the people, people have owned and we've yeah. back, they're the same mattress. Yeah. Like Gabe said, one's in Vietnam. One's in the UAE, yeah. one's in Thailand, one's in China. You know, they're, I know I have friends that are, in, that are in the industry, different parts of the country, and then they sell a lot of these brands in their stores, and they'll sell two exact same models, but they'll feel totally different, Yeah. you know? So, and because they're made in different factories. So when you couple that, when you add not trying the mattress for yourself, and you've, you, they're made in different factories, the inconsistency, you're just, you're opening yourself up again. It's hit or miss. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a risk. That's one another reason why I would stay away from buying online. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so we talked about why I would avoid shopping online, but are there any reason why you should online? You know, if you would ask me mm -hmm. ten years ago, I would have said a hundred percent no. Do not buy a mattress online. But yeah. now I'm probably about eighty percent no, about twenty percent yeah. Mm -hmm. There's some reason I would say oh, it's okay. You can yeah. buy it online. You know, so. So the first reason why, why would you say, would you, would you recommend? Yeah. Online? I mean, the first one is going to be, it's for guest bedrooms, right? It's not going to be your main bed. You're not going to, you don't care how it feels. It's like, I just need something quick and easy and I don't want to go to the store. You know, I'm just going to click and buy this mattress for guests that are coming in. If you don't, that, if you don't like your it. guests that much, and you don't want them to stay too long, then yeah, buy it online. Yeah. I'll tell you what brand to buy. Just kidding. I'm not gonna say <laughs> yeah. But yeah, if you, yeah, if you're not going to sleep on it for a guest, you know, buy it online. Yeah. If you don't like the in-laws too much, 
buy it online, okay? <laughs> the number two reason why you'll be okay. Yeah, I mean, if you've already tried the mattress, you've lied on it, tested it, you know, maybe you've tested it at a friend's house or you, you're, you know, in an area that you've tested the mattress at where that store was at. Um, and, you know, it's like, hey, maybe it's a shorter term purchase. So it's like, hey, I, it's three years or less and yeah, not the highest quality materials, but I don't need it very long. That would be another reason why I'd buy it online. Yeah. Yeah, you know? I mean, it's, it's pretty simple. Like, you know, for short term, you get it. You, you want to sleep good, though. You know, those few years that you're going to keep on, you still want to sleep good. You still want to have good support. Yeah. You, know, you want to be, that's where you got to know how it feels. You might not need it to feel that way for a long time, mm -hmm. but just for that short amount of time, you know, it's already a comfortable mattress. You're going to sleep okay. Then go for it. You know, especially if you're younger, if you're older, you may have different needs. If you're like mm -hmm. in your 20s, then you, you'll be okay, you know? And then the third reason why I would say you might be all right going online you yeah. know, if you had to. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, the third one is going to be the, again, if you've tested already and or if you know that, hey, that mattress that you're buying is actually using good quality materials. Yeah. Right? You know it's going to be, it's an investment you're making and you know it's going to last you some time. It's not going to break down after a few years. Yeah. You know that it's, it's comfortable. You know that the materials are good. You cannot find it at your local place, mm -hmm. then I'll say go for it. You by know? all means, yeah. I, by, by the way, I know it's hard to get out, especially if you're married with kids. I know this when I was shopping for furniture, it was just hard to break away right. and go to a store and look for furniture, you know? And I can't, I'm sure the same Imagine people- lying down on mattresses, yeah. Lying down on mattresses, okay. you know? And I see people on date nights, they come to the mattress store just because there's no time to break away. Yeah. So yeah, you know how it feels, you just don't have the time to go to a store, but you know how it feels and you know it uses good components, then go for it. So that is us in a nutshell. But you know? there's one more. What's that? I, and this supersedes everything we just said. Yeah. Um, reason to buy a mattress online is, it's for mattress makers. It's ours. Yes. That, that, that supersedes everything. That's, yeah, right? that's the trump card. Yes. Yeah. If it's from us, obviously we're being kitty, we're being facetious, you know? So I mean, we definitely would love to sell you a mattress online but no our, our first like i said earlier our first recommendation is you know if you have someone in your local community shop that local guy first mm -hmm. uh, for and sure. the reason why like i said earlier is because he's going to be more vested for that you're happy that he's selling you a good product mm -hmm. you know with good good components so shop local first but if you can't find someone in your local community if you're not sure then yeah i mean we'll we'll take your phone call or you know, sell you a mattress online. Yeah, definitely would recommend doing that first though. Yeah. So, yeah. And thank you guys for all watching. You yeah. know, that kind of wraps it all up for the day. Yeah. Right? Yeah, if you guys are on your mattress shopping journey, we've had a guide. We have a guide that breaks down mattress shopping tips, mistakes not to make when mattress shopping. Yeah, feel free to download it. Mm -hmm. Subscribe to this channel, yes. like it, share it with some friends, family, yes. all those things. Yes, please subscribe to the channel. That really helps. You'll be updated. And it's great. If you have nothing to watch, if you guys are fighting what to watch on Netflix, put on YouTube, put on our channel. There you go. If you can binge on all these mattress videos. Yeah. So, well, thanks for watching, you guys. Thank you. Sleep well.